Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. Yesterday, William Ruto was in Homer Bay County. A meeting that was given a wide berth by all elected leaders in Homer Bay County. And even the kind of reception was given by the residents was also cold. In that some residents were seen walking out on him even before he concluded his speech. Uyu onjela jagot mutapanya kazi na mimi. Mutapanya kazi pamoja. Ebu nyone wana alasema tapanya kazi pamoja. That tour has ignited reactions and discussions in the Luo Nation. Meru! Wakati uru wakati 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 Kuna makanisa kule mbwana president na kuomba tu mbwana president kama president ya Kenya. Shiriki kule pia duwa shida zao. Ajame nuladu. Nuladu atutaki mendeleo. Tumeza wawo pinzani na tulaka hapo. Atutaki. Kwa zama atutaki vitu ambayo itakuwa inatuongwa ina ina watu zetu ndi atu, vitu zetu zidi kuchukuli watu taki aja tukana bari zetu aja tukana barabara zetu waja hizo kambuni zetu zote abayo watu wote ambao wale kula na sirikali aja hizo soni lale huko watu taki fufue kutoni kwanza kukuomba kwanza fanyia baringo kazi baringo hakuna maji osalama njaa umaskini kukosa kuenda shule vitu tano <laughs> Mr President sa Mr President sa na kuomba kama mkenya achana na nyanza tuko na maji tuko na stima tuko na everything pamoja na barabara achana na sisi fanya kazi turukana Mr President fanya kazi cha nariba bwana president na kuomba kama rais ya Kenya watu wa baringo wanakufa juu ya njaa wanakufa juu ya maji watu wa tanariba wanakufa juu ya maji achana na nyanza Makanisa pia bwana president imejengwa baringo suende maeneo pale bwana usikia maneno yao bwana Mr President na kuomba president ya Kenya Those are just some of the reactions of the Luo Nation Hatutaki maendeleo yako peleka baringo na Turkana In this video I want to explain five reasons why William Ruto has to work a little bit hard to win the hearts of the Luo Nation. Before we do that, in case you are watching us for the very first time, subscribe, give this video a like. The first reason, for a very long period of time, William Ruto has been seen, especially by the Luo community, as if he was profiling the Luo community. Wale watu wakungua rally, wale watu wakurusha mawe. It is unfortunate that we cannot go to Nyanza, we cannot go to Kisumu, we cannot go to Siaya, we cannot go to Homa Bay, we cannot go to Migori. We have tried to go there, even me as deputy president. I cannot go to Nyanza because they stoned my vehicles. Yay. Those are remarks William Ruto has not just made once or twice, but he has made them severally in several occasions. The Luo community has been taking those remarks as if William Ruto has been profiling them. So William Ruto has actually to own up, he has to come out and admit that he made some mistakes. Let him start a honest and a genuine engagement with the Luo Nation. But if he must first of all admit that he made some mistakes. And then closely tied to that point, if you look at leaders accompanying William Ruto, or very close William Ruto associates, the likes of Moses Kuri and Didinyoro, these are leaders who have also been seen as hating the Luo community. Moses Kuria is on record saying that in 1969, the gamer community took an oath that somebody not circumcised should not lead this country. And Moses Korea was referring to the Luo community. Ndidi Nyoro sometimes back actually also referred to the Luo community kama wale watu wakurusha mawe. And in fact, Kenyans can still remember, Raila Odinga had a rally in Kiambu County 
And Ndini Nyoro was captured live on camera saying that wale wakurusha mawe waliletwa na mabasi Kondele Boys bus eh, some schools that do not even exist. So Ndini Nyoro Moses Kuria these are very close William Ruto associates. In fact William Ruto has so far nominated Moses Kuria in his cabinet. These are leaders who are seen as hating the local community to the bone. And those are the leaders that are surrounding William Ruto. So William Ruto himself has been seen as profiling the local community. His close associates are also seen as profiling the local community. William Ruto must admit and accept that he made a mistake. Let him start from there and then he opens up a genuine candid discussion and engagement with the Luo Nation. Not just going to Koma Bay, and even before he admits that he made some mistakes in the past, he tells the Luo community that he loves them. William Ruto must first of all admit that he made a mistake. And then the second reason why it will take William Ruto long to win the hearts of the Luo Nation, Ruto is using wrong leaders in the Luo Nation to make inroads there. If you look, look at the leaders who accompanied William Ruto yesterday in Homer Bay, some of them were rejected in the just concluded August election. And some are also seen as Rail Odinga's sworn enemies. So to start with that, William Ruto is using leaders seen as rebels. Leaders who are seen as not actually championing the well-being and the interest of the local community. William Ruto should and must use the right leaders. If at all, he wants to win the hearts of the Luo nation. He should not use rejects and leaders who are seen as not championing the interest of the local community. And then the third reason, William Ruto has been in government for the last 10 years. In fact, this is just a continuation of his stay in government. In all those 10 years, William Ruto has not taken any development to Nyanza since 2013. And now he goes to Homer Bay, he tells the people that he loves them. But for the 10 years he has been in government, he has never taken any development there. In fact, what he has been doing has been to profile the Luo community. So William Ruto must also actually wake up to that reality. He must also accept and admit that he made a mistake. All the 10 years, he has never taken any development to Nyanza. He has just been profiling them. And then the fourth reason, William Ruto should stop undermining Raila Odinga. Raila Odinga is seriously respected by the Luo community. And just like in other communities across Kenya, if you talk bad about William Ruto in the Kalenjin nation, most likely the Kalenjins will hate you because of that. Same to the Luo nation. William Ruto has been seriously attacking and, and undermining Raila Molo Odinga, referring to Raila Odinga Kama Mganga, hmm? Yule Mze Wakitena Wili. And he has been doing that without any apology. Yes. So William Ruto should first of all respect. He should stop also undermining Raila Molo Odinga. Because even the leaders that accompanied him yesterday in Homer Bay, they were throwing some jobs to Raila Molo Odinga. And those jobs were seen as if they had blessings of William Samoy Ruto. William Ruto should respect and should stop undermining Raila Molo Odinga. Raila is a respected law leader, just as William Ruto is also a respected Kalenjin leader. And then the fifth reason, a good number, if not a majority, of the law community have got issues with William Ruto's integrity. Quite a good number see him as a corrupt leader, a leader who is not straight. So
So William Ruth has also, he has to come out to address those issues. He has to explain to Kenyans whether he is corrupt as being alleged or not. Because a good number of the law people see him as corrupt, see him as a leader who is not straight. And that is actually isolating him from the law nation. The law nation see him as somebody who fails short of leadership and integrity. They see him as somebody not fit holding a public office because of his reputation. Yes. So Ruto has also come, he must come out to explain to the law nation whether he is corrupt as being alleged or whether those are just propaganda. He has to explain it and he must explain it very fast. Unless William Ruto addresses all those issues, it will take him maybe even centuries to win the hands of the law nation. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. But just as I did indicate when we were starting, if you are watching us for the very first time, subscribe, give this video a like. And to another person who wants to have a chat a discussion or to share information with me or even to support this channel, I've pinned my number on the comment section, the first comment. Contact me through the number or you can channel any contribution or support to the number. Yes. Let's meet in our next analysis. In our next video, I'm going to explain five reasons why William Ruto went to Homer Bay County. Five strong reasons. God bless you. God bless Kenya.